Welcome back this morning. For parents to be, there are some big questions, including where you should deliver. Starting today, Seton Medical Center is offering more options by partnering with the Austin area birthing center so that midwives can deliver babies at the hospital. Kay Whitehall has the story you'll see only on KXAN. Her name is Genevieve James Pignon. When Bernadette Pignon was pregnant with Genevieve, the hospital was the last place she wanted to deliver. Her plan was a natural birth at a birthing center, but then she had complications. When it was laid out that I'd probably have to be induced and come to the hospital, I was just heartbroken. But thanks to a new partnership between the Austin Area Birthing Center and Seton, Bernadette's midwife Joan was able to be there. The amazing thing is that I don't have to give up the care of my client just because I have to go to the hospital. Joan's goal was to recreate the experience of a birthing center inside the hospital room with the birthing ball and wireless monitor so Bernadette could move. I walked around with squatting. I mean, I had so much movement in the room that it was, you know, people were just moving out of my way. The idea for the partnership was born from seeing moms disappointed that their midwife could only act as a doula or someone to just support them during labor and not actually deliver the child inside the hospital. What we've tried to do is really make this a smoother transition. And it turned out a hospital birth was a good thing for Genevieve when the nurse discovered her heart rate was low. Everything, the heart, the liver, the spleen, the stomach, it's all flipped like a mirror image. <laughs> Thankfully, it won't cause complications for the baby. And for mom and dad, the birth of their second daughter was the experience they wanted in just a different setting. Well, I think there's so much peace for me knowing that I had this kind of birth here, um, you know, considering everything that went on. Kate Wydaw, KXAN News. Well, because of the partnership, midwives will now have privileges at Seton to allow their patient to not only move around the room, but also prescribe medicine. In some cases, the doctor never enters the room to allow for little in intervention. As we take it in depth, the St. David's Women's Center of Texas has offered the same service through the OBGYN North practice that started in 2008. It's made up of four doctors and six certified nurse midwives. Those midwives go through seven years of training to be qualified to deliver babies and can do everything a physician does except for C-sections and other birth-related surgeries.